Hello people, you can see I've got some boxes in front of me, you can see I'm very happy despite the fact the spider's on my mind still. Yes, it's in here, there's probably about 15 of them in here, um, but you know, tch, tch, big strong man, don't, you know, tch, uh, no, tch, you know, anyway, 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 let's get on with this, let's open the parcels, let's have some fun, um, I don't know where the knife is. Ooh, it's down there. <laughs> I'm going to joke. Right, come on. So, um, yeah, uh, I have got some Lego. Uh, I've got the order somewhere here as well. I've got the order somewhere. <laughs> so excited. I don't know why I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't know why I'm this excited. I mean, it is exciting because it's Lego. We are doing a Lego haul. I didn't even say. I don't think. We are doing a Lego haul. Um, I did two orders. You can see. One second two orders one box is bigger than the other but we should contain the same thing so i don't know what that's going on there but still 59 pound 98 for one order 59 pound 98 for the other i did use the browser extension honey which if you don't know about honey you can basically save yourself money hey save yourself money with honey oh that's cool you can save yourself money on different websites and they scout out all the voucher codes for you and then you can literally click one button and they go through all the voucher codes and place them into the website now i didn't get any vouchers with this order but what i did get is i did get some honey gold back as i was saying before the train went past what i did get was some honey gold back i think about got only maybe about two to three percent now what i'm going to do next time because i think it's very very valuable to do this is to do uh top cash back and honey and see if I can get the two. Now, I don't know, there might be some confrontation or clash there where I can't get both of them, but I can't see any reason why I couldn't do that. So what I'm gonna do with my next order is I'm gonna use the top cashback link, go through top cashback, maybe get 5% or so there, it depends what the Lego percentage is at the moment. I know I've seen it as high as like 9% before, so sometimes it can be really good. Go through that link, then use Honey, get another 2%, 3% back on Honey Gold, and get my free gift with Lego Shop at home, as well as any maybe discounts that are already on the set, if there is any, you see what I mean? I mean, that level of discount is incredible. You've got your few percent top cash back, you've got a few, few percent back on honey, you've got your discounts already there, you've got your free gift. Oh, and on top of that, if you're a VIP, Lego VIP, which is what I am anyway, and you can just sign up for free with that service, um, you will get your VIP points as well. So you can you know, imagine you're probably getting about 30-40% discounts on any of the sets you buy, even if the sets aren't, well, maybe even if the sets are only on, let's say, a 10% 10 10 discount or something like that. Um, even if they're not on a discount, I could imagine with all those things combined, you're getting bloody 20% off as it is. So not too bad at all. Now, I did actually buy full price on these sets. And the reason I paid full price is, for one, I'm going to get my VIP points. For two, I got a free gift. And for free, I got my honey gold as well, which you can redeem for, for gift vouchers. I will put a link down below to honey. It will be a referral link. Now, I don't know whether we both get something or whether I just get something for that. I'll maybe let you know in the annotations or whatever what the the um, stipulations or what the ideas are with regards to going through my link, whether we both get something, because I would assume that if you go through my referral link, maybe you'll get a bit of honey gold and I'll get a bit of honey gold or something like that. So it's a win-win. But I'll put an annotation up to see what the, the conditions are with that anyway. But yeah, if you want to join honey, the link will be down below. Also, um, it's really, really cool on these sets because as I say, I've got those three things. I've got my honey, I've got my uh discounts on um sorry not my discounts i've got my free set and i've got my uh vip points so that was pretty decent the sets that i've got in here as well not to do too much more rambling because we've done f five minutes of rambling here we're not even into the video this is clearly one of my videos um but the other thing with these sets just to mention as well is i've wanted these for quite a while uh, and they are decent long-term sets they're some star wars sets so i'll, I'll get into it for, without further ado uh, i forgot my blooming knife uh, for some reason the the end of it isn't on there so that's not going to be much use for us so what we're going to do is we're going to cut into this like this with these scissors get these bloody straps off if i can 
I'll come back to you in a minute anyway because this is just going to be awful to watch. Right then, first box. So, uh, in this box we have uh, the free set. Now, I actually thought this might have been in a box, this one, but it's a poly bag. So, that's okay. It's all right. Um, usually, the Speed Champions free gifts when they're poly bags, you need to sell them. We, maybe not straight away, but a little bit after they come out, but not too much longer after they come out. Because what happens, it happened with the other one, I think it was the Evo, Evo Speed Champions poly bag. On eBay, they go for like 10 quid or so, first off, or maybe just a little bit after they come out, they go for around the 10 quid or so. Then, over time, they drop off and you might only get three or four quid from. Especially when we're talking about the Speed Champions ones specifically, because the Speed Champions stuff normally does better anyway, even the poly bags. So, what I might do with this one is actually just look on eBay, see what it's going for right now. Maybe wait a little bit, maybe a few weeks, just to see what the market's playing like. But I'm not going to hesitate too much with selling this straight away, especially considering it's a poly bag. If it, was a, and if it came in a little box then I might think, oh, you know what, it might be worth a wait because some of the speed champions, obviously, in the boxes can do better long term, but the poly bags don't seem to do that. So, uh, only maybe very, very rare specific ones or whatever. Um, so, what I'm going to do, sell that straight away. I'm, I don't know how much I'm going to get back on it because I've not looked, um, but going off past history, uh, it's very well going to be probably in that 5 to £10 pound region, something like that. Um, so, yeah, that's that one. But it does seem to be a fairly big poly bag, actually. It's got a fair few uh, pieces in there. So, it's quite a nice looking little set as well. Blue little McLaren. I'll uh, hold it up there for you. There's the set there, blue little McLaren, quite nice. So that's that one. The other two sets I got, I've wanted these for so long, you can't imagine. Uh, five, uh, 75280, uh, 51st uh, Legion Clone Troopers. Uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars was kind of my era. Um, I was 12 years old when it came out, and I loved Captain Rex when I first saw those first few episodes and stuff. Um, so this is iconic for me also personally, um, but I know it's very, very iconic for all Star Wars fans and all Lego fans specifically, because a lot of Lego fans, if you watch many, many different videos of the, the Lego, what are called AFOLs, the adult fans of Lego, if you watch any of their videos, they're always talking about like, oh yeah, this is a really interesting set, especially those who are maybe my age, a little bit older, a bit, a little bit younger, um, but to be honest, just generally, a lot of people have been uh, after this set. So it is a very iconic set. I'll show you the set there. You get some lovely Clone Trooper minifigs from the 51st Legion, which is Captain Wex Legion. Um, and you get some Battle Droids. I mean, a Battle Droids is just standard, really. But this is a great one for, for army builders. So people who build Lego armies and stuff like that. It's one of those ones that you can very much see when it retires, which will be maybe in a little bit. Yeah, I'm not so certain. Um, I've not kept, kept up with this set, but I know I think it's... I think it's been out a year now or close to. So um, maybe it's got another year on it on the shelf life. I'm not certain, though. Um, but no, this when it retires, people are going to want these minifigs for army building and stuff. We're just going to have to hope that LEGO doesn't like reissue the 51st uh, Century Clo the 51st um, Clone Troopers like loads because if they reissue them a lot then obviously it's going to go down in appeal and stuff but but we'll see anyway but yeah it's a nice looking little set i think it retails at like 24.99 the reason it retails at that is because for one you're getting six minifigures not just three or four like in a battle pack but also you're getting two builds as well in there you're getting the um i don't know what that is it's like a mini st s what is it s Oh, I don't even know, ATST or something, I'm not sure, um, of, the, of the kind of um, letters on that. But you're getting that build there, and then you're getting a little speedo as well. So you're getting two, two builds. So I can see why they put that at $24.99, not maybe, let's say, $14.99 or $19.99. Um, but yeah, so that's that one there anyway. Uh, and then the other one with Ahsoka Tano in, which is... Um, Nice little minifigure, actually. Um, and we've got a little uh, AT, AAT driver battle droid. That's that's not too bad. I like the printing on the battle droids. You're probably not going to be able to see that printing that well, but there's some different printing on the battle droids. Now, don't tell me whether that's a completely new printing or not. It very well could be. Um, but there might have been battle droids like that done in another set, but I don't think so, if I, if I recall correctly. Um, but yeah, they're nice printing on those battle droids. 
The main fo uh, focus of this set is, of course, Ahsoka Tano. But you also have a lovely, um, almost like a... Um, a different um, clone trooper, and, and it literally is called Ahsoka's Clone Trooper, which is very interesting. So that's probably new. That's quite nice, actually. And then, of course, you get the main build and the AAT, is it? Uh, one second there, AAT. I am going to hold it up to the camera for a bit longer there. I was just trying to remember what it was. But yeah, AAT there, which is a lovely build, as you can see. Um, so yeah, that's really nice. This retails at 34. I've got the order sheet. Why am I doing this? I've got the order sheet right here. This retails at 34.99, um, which, to be honest, I mean, four mini figures, 34.99. Uh, I suppose considering the uh, the fact that it is quite a nice build on the AAT there, it's not so bad, you know. The build the build in this one, and maybe a Soka as a mini figure, is really what you're paying for. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. I don't know what the piece count is on these because. In the UK, they, as you know, they, or, or, as you may know, they don't put the piece count on the boxes. They do in the US, though, and in other countries. Um, but for some reason, in the UK, they don't. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's it's quite a nice looking little set. And I think that that might have some appeal as well in the long term market. So that was why I got that. But anyway, I'll open up this other box. So same story in this one. We got the poly bag there for free, which is really cool. They've actually got a nice little set on uh, for free at the moment as well. If you go on Lego shop at home, uh, they've got a, if you spend over £85, I forget what it is, but it looks like a nice little set with... Um, you know, I think it's got a decent piece count to it as well. Normally, when we do the over £65 or over £85 spend sets, they normally are a lot better. So, um, yeah, it always is good looking at them, seeing if you can spend over 85 or 65 and getting those. Obviously, what you want to do, as I did here, I separated it into two orders because I think it was over 40 quid or something like that that you get the McLaren. Now, what I could have done is done this all in one order and then only just got one free set. But what I did was I did it in two orders so that I could get two free sets. Um, and so then, obviously, I maximised the potential for uh, the money back on the order, basically, from the free gifts. I mean, that's a very obvious trick. Everyone does it. But I just wanted to state it for those who are maybe new to LEGO investing or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, again, if you spend over £85, what you're going to do, if you're getting maybe a £190 worth of LEGO, for example, split the orders and get the two free gifts rather than the one, and then you're getting some more money back. But normally, the over £85 sets, I mean... Sometimes, especially at Christmas time, the free gifts at that sort of price level uh, can, can be going on eBay for about £20, £25. Normally, though, you may be looking about 15 quid, something like 10, 15 quid. It really depends on the set, though. It depends. There's a lot of factors, really. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. Also, just very quickly, and I'll wrap up the video now. Um, I've got this one here. Again, one of the uh, same sets, the 51st Legion Clone Troopers. So that's really cool. Um, oh, actually, we don't even get Captain Rex in this. I thought we maybe did, but uh, it's 51st Jet Trooper and then the Clone Troopers. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, because it's more for the... This set is more the appeal for the actual Clone Troopers of the 51st Legion. Uh, not particularly Captain Rex, but um, yeah. But still, it's a lovely little set. And uh, yeah, that's that one anyway. So I've got, two, I've got two of them and I've got two of the others as well here. Uh, because I've got this one, which is the AAT. So I've got two of those sets. So that is it. It's just a small haul. I mean, I suppose, you know, it's 120 quid worth of Lego. Um, but it's still fairly small, small haul considering what I've done in the past. I'm also thinking about buying a little bit more Lego in the future. Of course, as I've said at the moment, money and everything. Yeah, it's with university and all that sort of stuff. As you know, as you can imagine. Um, but... I'm trying, if I can, maybe set aside a bit of money and then we can do maybe a couple more Lego hauls over the summer because I really enjoy doing them. These are one of my fav most favourite videos to do because I just really enjoy unpacking the Lego. I really enjoy investing in Lego. As you can see, I've got a bit behind me. Um, I just love that kind of whole atmosphere. I mean, I just love investing in general. It's one of my main... Um, well, I say it's a hobby. I mean, it, it kind of is a hobby, but it, it's also a part of my business. So um, it, there's kind of that in there as well. But it is very much a hobby at the same time. I just love doing investing in anything, in anything, in everything. So 
um, I really enjoy these videos specifically. And the good thing is a lot of people do enjoy watching them. So uh, that's always a positive. Anyway, I'll leave it there. We've been on for 16 minutes. Um, I was going to try and keep this short. I was going to try and keep this to about 10 minutes because it wasn't a particularly big haul. But I ended up rambling loads at the beginning, which is what I'm famous for. It's what I do. You know, if you, you, you can't come to my channel, you can't subscribe if you don't like rambling because half the time that's what I do. So what I'll do is I'll leave it here. I won't ramble anymore. Uh, and uh, I will see you in the next one, which will be a poetry video, a psychology video, Thursday talks, a reselling video. God, you name it. It's going to be one of those. Or maybe another Lego investing video, but probably not because we'll probably do one of those in two or three weeks time. But yeah, with that being said, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Also, don't forget, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Like the video if you liked it. And by this point, maybe, maybe I'm right in saying that the memberships are live for the channel. Hopefully they are, maybe they're not. But if memberships are live, then obviously go to the channel page, click that join button and have a look at that video. See if the memberships are for you. And if so, we'd love you, love to have you on board as a Fuzzly Gub club member. So uh, yeah, just uh, go and have a look at that and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.